Hello everybody and welcome back. You may notice it looks a little different. Uh, last night and today I painted the room trying to get the lighting a little bit better. I think it's much better so that makes me feel a lot better. So this video is going to be about tire insert testing. So I've gotten recently gotten some of the D440 files and I've got all the settings with the dryer on my printer and I got it printing Ninja Tech 85A pretty good. So I've got three different things to test. So this one, first of all, my go-to tire, I'm gonna have this one here. This is my 2.2 Enjora wheel with a 1.9 rupture. And it's got the, the 95A printed inner foam and the, and the outer, outer foam from Enjora, dual stage foam. That's, that's my go-to setup. So this is kind of a baseline to test on. So first off, I tried to print one it's the same thing, but a completely 3D printed insert. So this one was the first one I did with 6% infill, and it's a little stiffer, a little stiffer than what this one is. I'm trying to get as close to that as possible. So that was 6% infill. I'm going to back off this one yet. I made one with 4% infill, and it feels really good. It feels a lot better. So that's what I'm, one of them I'm going to do. I'm going to take this one out, put it aside for later in case I want to do some tuning with different firmness front and rear uh, but for now I think the 4% infill feels the best uh, feels really good um, I think it's going to be great so here's the insert uh, out of the tire this is with the 4% infill so I'm pretty happy pretty pleased with the outcome uh, these prints on my bamboo x1 carbon take about six seven six to seven hours uh, it has to go slower. That's kind of the key to get this material to work. Um, if this was on a regular printer, it'd be much slower. So I'm really pleased with that. So the next one I'm going to test is a regular, regular 1.9 rupture. Uh, these are the Ninja foams from like again, like I said, from D440, um, and I printed those over this past week trying to get them ready. Um, I've got one of these. You see how this is crazy soft. Uh, but it's progressive the way the design is it's progressive firmness so it gets stiffer as it goes down because I've got them mounted on some new ruptures that's that's all I had um, but you can see they uh, pretty pretty soft but they get like I said they get progressively firmer as they go down I think these are gonna be the ticket so they, they're good about the side heel and they don't really fold over hardly at all um, now I've got one more. This, this is actually the first one I tested, I printed was um, the 4.75. These are going to be more popular, obviously. So I've got 4.5, 4.75 megalithics. And these were printed with 6% infill. I don't know. They feel really good. And I've had them out on the rocks here at the house. I think they're, they work pretty incredible. We're going to find out at Moss Rock. Um, they feel a little different than the ruptures do. They, they, it feels like the ruptures need a little softer infill. So um, I'm gonna try these out first. These are uh, gonna be more common, you know. And this, this, these tires are what I really bought to do comp, and then they made them illegal. So I'm gonna run them, run them on out. I keep them for something, but I'm probably gonna buy some tusks or some holes or something. Try those a little later for my other truck, which is gonna be a comp rig. So. Uh, I'm gonna get these get these all mounted up and get them in my bag and take them out to Moss Rock tomorrow and it's gonna be strictly tire testing and I'm gonna do some back-to-back -back footage with each one and like I said I'm gonna use my my go-to as a baseline I know this tire works better than anything I've tried so I don't know that any of them be quite that good hopefully they'll be as good if they're as good they're gonna be incredible so um, pretty excited about this I've had this material for a while tried printing with it and I had a lot of trouble with stringing and stuff not coming out right and the ticket was uh, I bought a Sunlu dryer right there the new one it it can sit there and run straight from the, dr the dryer at 158 degrees Fahrenheit and uh, it runs I just pretty much ran it 24 hours and printed these over this past week. I only had had a few problems with it wanting to, to get bound up in the extruder, 
uh, the ticket to that was loosen the tension on the tension screw and each time if what I would have to do is unload the filament pull it out cut an inch off that where it was dragging through the extruder and feed it again and then it would work fine so that that was kind of the ticket for me so I'm gonna get these all mounted up put together and tomorrow I'm gonna get out at Moss Rock and we'll have it uh, fired up here in just a minute and you'll be able to see the results one more thing I wanted to add before I showed the videos or the results. I've also printed some SCX6 foams. These I'm making these for a guy at work, making these out of 95A, so it's much stiffer. So it's still the same design, the Ninja foam from D440, but the difference is this is 95A material, so it's much stiffer. So this, this particular truck is a full weight truck. He's, I think he's going to even add some weight to it, so it's going to be pretty heavy. So it's got compression but it's not near as much this is six percent infill we've had one of them on the truck test it. he hauled his kit around it seemed to work pretty good but one of the keys to this one i don't have a tire here to show you but uh this is 155 millimeter which is a little smaller so there's a little air gap so that gives it a little cushion with the tire and allows it to wrinkle a little bit but still have stiffness and strength in the tire i think they're going to work out really good so i've got Three of them printed now. The other one, the the, the guy, the, the guy I'm talking about has it, has the other one, and the last one's running on the printer now. So let me, I'm gonna let you see this. So that's it going at 95A. Uh, prints it beautiful. So let's see if we can look at the screen here and. Looks like we got eight hours and 25 minutes. This is about a little over a nine hour print. So, so unfortunately I won't have any coverage just yet of that one. I'm gonna be making some more for, for another friend here shortly. Um, but he's gonna get that on. He's gonna be able to keep that thing at full weight. So I, I think the ticket was you can do the same thing with the infill. You can make it a lot softer there. You can also change the flow characteristics on the, on the thing, but these things are printing beautiful. I'm super happy with them. So anyway, I'm going to get to editing this video and get you some coverage. I'm going to try to do a little voiceover on the coverage of the tire testing. So well, let's see how it goes. Okay, so here we go. This is on the crunchy crawl. And I got to say, first of all, this day, the grip was a little low for some reason. So this is the... This is my go-to tires with the 3D printed insert inner and foam outer and it has no problem like right here it has to scoot over that's why you kind of kind of rig it to where it slides over a little bit and then it goes up that no problem that's about <clears throat> as good as it gets uh, if you see this part right here there's a little hesitation it hardly ever does that that's just part of the the low grip situation we're in now let's see what we got here this one is this one's the megalithics with the 4.75 inserts it's struggling um, again I think uh, I have six percent infill this needs to be four percent so I got a little bit of work to do on this one it's struggling I'm having to use a different line on just about every tire to start right here but finally I have to turn in a little bit and get the hook and it finally pulls up there but it's this one of all the tires was probably the worst uh, I got a little work to do that they're good but it's just it's just a little too stiff so I'm gonna work on that I'm actually gonna start printing some tomorrow and there it gets to pull up there it wants to fall back down <clears throat> it's got a pretty good hook on that right front tire there I see Norm, my other one, other tires just pulled right up. And it's it's fell back down. So I was really had high hopes for these. I thought they felt really good here on the rocks at the house, but this line is one that if you're losing grip it's going to show and today it's probably a good thing the grip was lower than it normally is 
<clears throat> see right here the, the fronts are falling over to the left normally it pulls up to the right and pulls it on up but it's struggling right here um, but it's good that it's low grip and this line is not particularly hard but it will show you if your tires are uh, not working right just like this one's doing right here it's falling off to the left my old setup in these tires were hair buns in the front which made it super super crazy soft so and they were a little firmer in the rear different type of insert but um i think i'm gonna have to go with a similar setup and i'm gonna try that on these yeah, it never falls over to the left like that. The front just walks over. The fronts need to be softer. The rears might work. It's almost out of sight right here, but I think I eventually... Nope. <laughs> I forgot I went over there and grabbed it. And put it back and lined it up a little better. So I think... I think what I need to do is I'm going to print some... 4% infill with these and try them again. And um, that way I can alternate front and rear too. So Didn't really struggle right there, but it's that front fell over the left really bad for some reason. Didn't want to get that pull, so. Oh, I don't re didn't remember this. I came back down. Maybe I tried it again. Yeah, I wasn't satisfied with that, so I'm going to give it another go. Normally, you see I'm turning to the left a little bit. Normally, my left tire will be where the right tire is right there. Uh, our normal, the line we normally take. <clears throat> but I'm having to do it a little different and grab onto a little nodule over there. Boy, it's a struggle. I think I eventually got it here. Just have to, a little bit of alternate line. I like the way the black wheels look on this body. It looks a little more sinister. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably gonna get more black wheels in the future. It did much better this time. It didn't fall over quite as bad. See, normally you got to get that right turned right there and let it sit there and spin. And the, and the rear end will scoot over slowly but surely. You can just about pull up on it if you keep a little to the right, but you want that rear to get scooted over and plant. If you don't, the rear end gets hung on that on a sharp edge on the rock. <clears throat> yeah, it's sliding over to the left again. I see then the rear end comes around it. It's able to pull up. But my other tires never fall down like that. Now this line is not, I said it's not that difficult. It's not, it's not easy. Uh, it's still a difficult line. That's why I choose this one because it's a doable, but it's very good on showing you how well the the truck or the tires, the tires especially, are working. So I even had to back up a little bit there and get it lined up right. I don't think the rear is bad. I think the firmness of the rear might be just right. I think the front is where the, the issue is. It pulls up over that part just as good as any of them. I think because the rear gets planted and really pulls. I'm coming back down. I hope I didn't. Sure, I didn't try it one more time. Oh no, we're fixing the change here. <laughs> okay, here comes the next one. I can't remember which one this is. Okay, this is my 2.2s with 1.9 ruptures, the printed, complete printed insert. So this is kind of like dimensionally the same as my go-to setup. It's, it's just about the same, honestly. I struggle a little bit right here, but I think that was more of how I set up for it. Um, it goes ahead and pulls up pretty good, I think. These were pretty good. They they have 4% infill. They're a 2.2 .2 wheel with a 1.9 tire. 
same as my go-to setup but a complete 3d now see now the right the right front's got the pull so it's dragging the rear end around and, it, and then it'll go on up so yeah that was no problem <clears throat> They'll struggle on that up there, but I think it goes on up. Okay, here comes the next one. Now this one, this one is a straight up 1.9 rupture with 1.9 wheel. <clears throat> These are the copper wheels I've got. These, of all of them, impressed me the most. <clears throat> I don't think they're as good as my go-to or that last one. They're close, but they're as good of a 1.9 insert as I've used. Period. You know any combination I've used in a 1.9 rupture these are good they have a good wrinkle to them good forward drives uh, they're pretty close to good as my go to's but you can see it'll pull on up here no problem and next after this yeah see it'll go I think it goes over this just like it's nothing so this next one is a new line I'm working on and this is kind of a bonus you can see how steep the incline is this is a new line I've been working on I've went up it a few times the grip was so low today it was a problem but what I liked about showing this one is you can see a good, good bit of a wrinkle in the tire so normally you go up here and you get the right front to hook kinda almost the rock almost goes up in the wheel and then you can pull straight up on it that's what I've done before today it wasn't gonna put, really pull up there like it should I think I actually fell off right here at one point and had to cut the video and reposition it see right there it usually pulls right on up it, just didn't quite do it today. I tried that several times and see it falls back down. So this time I tried a little different angle because of the grip level and we slide out over here on the left looking into that rock. So here I think is where you can see the wrinkle. This is why I want to show this and see the wrinkle of that right rear tire. Is pretty, pretty cool. And this is uh, usually, uh, this is the easier way around, uh, it's not easy. This is not easy line at all. This is probably one of the most difficult ones. Most people can't do it. Uh, you can see it's 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 as steep as it looks, if not steeper, in the video. I told people I was going to told a couple people I was going to start doing this line, make a new line out of it. They kind of laughed at. Me. Here we are. So what you can do is you get up to that point. There's a crack that runs all the way across that huge rock. And you can like scoot over all the way across and eventually I'm, I've got almost all the way over eventually we're going to work on our way and going up part of the rock so there's some it's a project we're working on I've got up on that ledge a couple of times I think it falls back right here I think oh yeah I make a pretty spectacular catch right here yep one tire <laughs> like a boss okay this is a, a world famous bubble line from a different angle this is a really cool angle I got my small GoPro tripod sitting on the ledge of the rock it's kind of a little sideways but this this ro rock is really this steep uh, it's very difficult this bu bubble line is and there goes the dog <laughs> um, so it's sorry about that so you see I missed the line right there you got to get a little scoot over that a uh, little crack so what I did I wound up just scooting the truck back over and wiggled it around back and forth and We'll see how it goes here. So yeah, I'm right here I'm wiggling, trying to get back in position to do it the normal old school way. Uh, but it's pr really steep. It looks like you're just climbing up a, a straight up wall. I thought this was a lot better angle to look at it. It's right here. So you get it to the left, you turn a little to the right, and give it a little bit of speed right there to get over that little crack. And then it, it hooks up there. That's very difficult. That's the hard part. That's one part. And now after this normally you'd scoot over to the right wiggle it around and going up sometimes i can go right up over the top like that but today the grip level was low it wasn't going to happen so right here normally you'd turn right scoot over a little bit and just going up but i started screwing around so normally you just go up right there but now i had to try to get creative i wanted to try to go up over here on the left side i've done it a few times actually several times but See right there, normally it would pull up there, but it's got that little bit of grip missing today. 
not today, but the other day. <laughs> so I played around here for a little while trying some different things, but that, that's just another extra, extra clip. Now this is with the 1.9 steel. Uh, I kept them on a little bit, testing them the most because I was uh, curious about them because I've never really, I haven't been as happy with the 1.9 wheel and 1.9 tire until this. This one's pretty good. So I still prefer the 2.2s and I'm going to work on those some more too. But the, the fully printed 2.2 with 1.9 tire is, is really good as well. And again, these are both with 4% infill. Probably wouldn't hurt to try to experiment with some 6% infill on the rear. Maybe even a lot less on the front. Overall, these are these are really good. They some had some of the best forward drive I've had. There's a few places where to get over an obstacle, you'd have to give it a little a little speed to like roll over it. This one just crawl right up those spots. Now, normally, if, if the grip was up like it normally is, it would have crawled up over this all three all those spots right there that I was trying. But today. It's a little more challenging. So this is what this is where you normally go. I think scoot over. Well, normally you scoot over a little more. Normally you can't just climb up like that. That's pretty good right there. So yeah, I'm actually a little far left of the normal line. So that's why it's struggling right there. Again, it's a lack of grip for the day. I probably screwed around on this a little more than I should have on the video. <laughs> I normally normally go both right, but I you try different things, you know. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to pull that. Just to again, the grip was down everywhere. Every rock I got on, grip was lower than normal. Sometimes it's like that. Sometimes grip's crazy. I think it goes on up right here. There it goes. Well, there you have it. I'll give you my conclusion in just a second. So there it is. Um, that's the uh, D440 Ninja insert. So this is the this is the this is the 1.9 here. Uh, super happy with the way these turned out. This is the first one I printed. This was the 6% infill, uh, but this just kind of shows you what it looks like. Um, overall, I'm very pleased with all of them. The one point the 4.75 was the first ones I printed. I kind of experimented. I thought the six. I read up on some. I thought the six percent was the way to go, and it's actually a little too, little too firm. I think the rear. This might work out in a combination with these in the rear and it's four percent in the front. So that, I'm gonna print four four percents this week, and uh, we'll go back and try again. Uh, we'll finally get these dialed. But the one point nines on one point nine ruptures are money. I'm really happy with those. I'm really happy with the. The 2.2s on the 1.9s, they turned out really good. They're a real progressive. All of them are progressive, but these are a little more so than the than the 1.9s. Uh, but I'm really happy with those. But you see, one thing about the 2.2s, you see the look at the width. That's crazy. Um, so anyway, hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for more. We'll get these things dialed in. I'm pretty happy with the 1.9s. I'm going to keep rocking those. And the 2.2s as well. Just the only thing I need to really change is some of the softness of the 4.75. So I'm going to get back at it. And uh, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And we'll see you next time.